Martin was such an interesting character because he subverted all of the sort of generally accepted gender rules at the time. You know, he was a, not a stay-at-home dad, but he was the one who spent most of the time cooking and caring for the kids and doing all that stuff that was not something men of the time did. And I think that's really interesting that he sort of had the self-assuredness to just say, this is what I want to do, this is what makes me happy, I want to be with my kids, I want to cook and all that stuff. And it's, it's just a really interesting, great character because he also happens to be one of the most preeminent tax attorneys in the, in the world. So he, he kind of does it all. He's like super dad. When I first got this script, I was, I was really excited. I, I thought it was great that Ruth Bader Ginsburg was sort of coming to life on the pages. Uh, and then after talking to Mimi and meeting everybody involved, I was really excited to see how then it would turn from that to coming to life on film and in real life. So it's, it's been a really fun part of the process. Playing a real person helps in research because you have so much more to draw on because there's actual stuff you can look up. I can look up speeches. I can look up graduation speeches, commencement speeches. I can look up some of his lectures. I can see all those things. But then again, you can't just play that person. You have to play it as that person honestly fits into the script. So it's a fun part of the challenge. Mimi has been great to work with as a director. She's always got three cameras going. I think that comes from her days in television. But, uh, but it's super quick and convenient. And we're getting a lot of setups and we're moving quickly. And it seems like it's really smooth sailing so far. Felicity's lovely. She, she's just such an amazing actress, and she's one of the most dedicated actresses I've ever met. She just takes it so seriously, and she brings so much respect to this, especially to, you know, Justice Ginsburg. Um, she brings a sort of, like, resolution and sort of strength to the character, which is really nice, um, but also a gentleness as well. It's, it's great. Kaylee's great. She plays our daughter in this, uh, which is kind of disturbing for me that I've now been cast as a guy who's old enough to have a 19-year-old daughter. But that's okay. That's okay. I'll let that one go. Uh, Kaylee's been great, though. You know, she's, she's a phenomenally talented young actress, and it's, it's, it's great to have her here. We went to Washington, D.C. to go uh, meet Justice Ginsburg and, you know, had a chat with her in her private chambers at the Supreme Court, which was nuts, uh, and then ended up having dinner with her as well. And she's just like, uh, she's as smart and impressive as you would imagine Ruth Ginsburg would be. She gave me a book, uh, she gave me a book of his recipes, of his cooking recipes, and she signed it to me, which was so nice of her. And I had a dinner with the whole cast and, and Mimi, where I made several of Martin's favorite recipes and had everyone over for dinner, so we had a Marty meal. Before Ruth Bader Ginsburg and after were two very different places in terms of gender equality in America. Um, not just for women, but, you know, one of her first and biggest gender cases in terms of starting to turn the tide was protecting the rights of men who were caregivers at home who were denied a deduction by the IRS because only women need that, because only women stay at home and are caregivers. So she thought that that was a, a, a ridiculous sort of confinement on gender. Uh, and, you know, I mean, she was one of the first women to go to law school. You know, she was one of the first women to become a lawyer she, in America. She, I mean, she was really extremely progressive and continues her legacy of, of that fight, which is great. I would love for people who go to this and see it in theaters to leave with the idea that they can make a change for their children as well in whatever world they live in or whatever sphere they operate in. That, that was Ruth's big thing, you know. These laws are really a hindrance to our children and their goals and aspirations. So, you know, whatever change you want to see in the world, it just requires you being it. 
Hey there, here's today's daily fact. If you think Leonardo DiCaprio's look of surprise when Jack Nicholson draws a gun on him in The Departed is convincing, it's because the younger actor was legitimately afraid. DiCaprio stated that Nicholson pulled a gun on him. He didn't tell him he had a gun. Director Martin Scorsese also confirmed that Leo's reaction is real time in that famous scene. Now remember to click here below to subscribe or over here for more great content.